um, there have been all sorts of religious narratives that have demonized Jews um, from time immemorial. And these are some of the, the specific examples that I have from Martin Luther writing about Jews thirsting for Christian blood uh, to Aurelius Augustus, St. Augustine, saying that God kept Jews alive as a permanent reminder that Christianity had replaced Judaism as the true faith. These are, this is an example of 1930s Nazi propaganda. This, you can find this at the U.S. Holocaust Museum where you see the depictions of Jews. It's very, very derogatory. And you can see as if they're saying that they're, they're manipulating or they're, they're planning or plotting something. Things that were being said um, in, uh, you know, I once was in a store with my mother where someone said something about, oh, I'm going to chew that person down. Or I'm going, you know, these are examples that are still with us. And even in our anti-Semitism audit, uh, we have examples of this where people have reported to us within the last year of incidents happening where Jews were, were uh, referred to in a derogatory way. Of you saw here in Kenosha. This flyer has been distributed in other areas of the country also, and I know David's going to talk about some of those national trends. It's very, very scary. And what's scary about it is sometimes people think that it's not that serious, um, and they uh, sometimes people see this as someone else's problem. And as Rabbi Feingold mentioned, it's everyone's problem. It's not just the problem of the Jews, it's a community problem.